Here, oh dear, my love. It's a right mess up here. Is it? I think I can make it safe here for now. We'll call back later in the week and sort it out properly. Thank you. Perhaps you'd better get Mrs Cook to show you the other light fittings. See what state they're in. Yeah, come on, sweetheart. for suspicion of theft. Yes, Reds, I told him. He already knows. Oh. And your occupation, please, Mr. Bayliss? Unemployed. I wanted to be a policeman, but my parents were married. That's funny. I haven't heard that one. This morning. You're right, so he was the arresting officer, but why can't I do the interview with him? I mean, I did run out of the mine after the bank, after all, didn't I? No and... problem? No problem, Sarge. Reg walked in on the same burglary artefacts team that he's been going around warning people about. Yeah, they legged it and I helped Luke catch that one, and now Polly's telling me she's going to do the interview with him and not me. Well, it shouldn't be either of you. It should be the CID. Well, I've been up there. They're either too busy or not interested. Why, are you that desperate? Desperate, no. Well, it doesn't really worry me either. I think he should be with one of his puppy walkers. That's not to say there's anything wrong with your interview technique, Reg. I just think that Luke could use the experience, and he should be with someone he's used to. Look, come and help us search the suspect's gaff if you want to be involved. Oh, thanks, pal. Seven times in two weeks. I don't know what you're talking about. You and another bloke have been going around sheltered accommodation conning people out of money, benefit books, pretty much anything you can get your hands on. Look. You've searched me flat, all right. If I'd done all these other places you're going on about, you'd have found something, yeah? But you didn't. So where have you hidden the stuff? I'm telling you, this was strictly a one-off for me. Really? Oh, have a day off, will you? All right, so what you're saying is this morning was your first time? Well, that's what I'm trying to say, yeah, thank you. So you haven't been involved in any other break-ins? Beginner's luck, right? I know it was stupid, but I was told it was going to be easy. Knock on the door, say you're from the council, flash a bus pass or something, and that's it, you're in. And who told you that? Your mate? Well, I don't think I'd go so far as to call him a mate. What then? I was in there the other night and we got talking. About burglary? About kids today and their attitude. Just sort of came up in conversation, you know. He said he got this scam going, I said, oh, yeah. Just sort of went on from there. So it was all his idea, he put you up to it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You can pull all the faces you want, but that's what happened. When you look at that building, what do you think? I think another day, another dollar. Derek, do you see a modern, accessible police station serving the local community? Or something more intimidating, more formidable? I think we need to change our image. Well, it looks better when the sun shines. I was thinking of a garden. We've been down that road before, haven't we, sir? Or should I say, led up that particular path? There's nothing wrong with Reg's idea, just its execution. OK, let's keep the idea and execute Reg. Huh. Hmm. OK. He's taking advantage of people and that's wrong. But it's not like robbing a bank or anything. No one was actually going to get hurt. Maybe not physically. No. I know what you're saying. Be honest, though. These people in sheltered accommodation, I mean, half of them don't know what day it is. I mean, take that old dear this morning. I mean, she shouldn't be living on her own. Why's that? Well, wobbly and everything. She ought to be somewhere safer. Where people couldn't con their way in and rip her off. All right, mate. Stop going on about it. I know it was wrong. I'm not proud of it. I just needed some cash. And this bloke made it sound like a doddle. A doddle for him? Yeah, it is now, isn't it? So, you're going to give us his name? Not really. Well, why not? It was all his idea. 
Nah. You can't, can you? You see, the thing is, Kevin, although these people live in sheltered accommodation and are vulnerable, most of them are actually quite observant. Oh, yeah? Yeah, like the bloke who got robbed last week. Same sort of thing as today. Two blokes pretending they're council electricians talk their way into his flat. One of them was tall, overweight, bearded, about 30. The other one, though, the one who did most of the talking, he was smaller, red hair, maybe a bit younger, with tattoos on his fingers. I did do a couple of other places. A couple of others. Right, let's see. We've got seven victims and they all gave very similar descriptions. All right, so I went along on all seven, but it wasn't my idea. But maybe you're the one who's flogged all the gear. No, there's still stuff about. At least there will be till he realises I've been nicked. And he'll probably dump it. And how long do you reckon that'll take? Well, if I'm not round his house in a couple of hours, I'll have a pretty good idea. If you got some of the stuff back, that'll help, wouldn't it? Do you mind if I join you, Rich? Uh, that's, that's all right. Nothing to worry about. Just wondered if we might have a word. You're a man with ideas. What would you do to brighten up the station's image with the community? Oh, uh, well, sir, there's a few things, I suppose. Oh, I was thinking about the building itself. You remember some time ago you did some work on the garden? I remember it didn't go down six anymore. Well. well, perhaps it's time to try again. Nothing too elaborate, just a few shrubs and a box of bedding plants. Something to brighten the place up a bit, soften the edges. Do you feel like having another go at it? Well, I appreciate you asking me, sir, of course, but... Uh, well, I don't really have a lot of time these days. Come on, Reg. You're the only one in the station with green fingers. This Kevin Bayliss is not sending you out on some wild goose chase. The address checks out, sir. We've confirmed what details we can. OK, get it typed up. It should be fine. Are you going to present it to the magistrate? Me, sir? It's all right, Luke. It was only a suggestion. You don't have to if you don't want to. It's not that I don't want to, sir. It's well, just... let's see how you feel when you get there. Oi! Oi! Yes? I need to talk to the girl again, the WPC. I forgot something. Like what? It's important. And then you introduce yourself like you were taught at training school. Luke Ashton, PC 432, attached to Sunhill Police Station, Your Honour. Your Worship. Your Worship. Look, how about I do it today and you save your debut for something more exciting? Nothing to do, Luke. He's with me, sir. We're up against the clock on a search warrant. Polly can type faster than me, sir. Yeah, I can do nearly three words a minute. Sorry, sir. Paul, you wanted in custody. Kevin Bayliss. I'll go. No, no, he specifically asked for Paul. Well, go on then, Paul. I'm sure Luke can manage this. It's nearly done. It's about time you got a bit more independent, isn't it? Well, getting there, sir. I think. I hope. Time to start spreading your wings, showing a bit of initiative. Yes, sir. Make it quick. All right. What is it? Oh. Yeah, we've got the Boy Scout with you. Well, come on, just get on with it. Talk about Dudley Do, right? That address I gave you. I forgot something. Upstairs, main bedroom, there's a floorboard by the radiator that lifts up. Sometimes I'd sing there. Like what? Some fake IDs you got made up, you know. Official looking. What's the problem? Ah, Mr Brownlow wants me to sort out the station garden again. What's wrong with that? You met Keen on the idea a while ago. You were times changed, haven't they? Another of your fads? No. It's right with you, Tony. You get the puppy walk probation as an empty bin. And you think that's fun? Me? I arrest a suspect. And I don't even get to sit in on the interview. Never mind, Reg. There you are. Have this trowel and a sack of manure. He just wanted to stick the knife deeper into his partner's back, give it a little extra twist. Really? He will be staying for lunch, Sarge. Oh, and in case he doesn't mention it, he's got a special dietary need. What's that, then? Rat poison, as much as you can fit on the plate. Reg? Have you got a second? I've got all the time in the world. Did you have a look at this, see if it's all all right? 
The bloke we nicked this morning, he gave us his mate's address. What was wrong with Polly? Well, she got called away and Mr Conway said to get on with it. Mm. Start using my initiative. That's right, mate. So, is it ready for court? Yeah. So, you reckon I should take it down there? Yeah, well, that all depends how much initiative you want to show, doesn't it? Well, I can do this. Oh, Luke. Yeah? If you're quick, you might be able to reach a lift in the area, Carl. Right. Mr Conway said it was time I was doing more stuff on my own. What about Polly? Well, she told me to get on with it. I'm not an idiot, you know. I'm quite capable of dealing with this for myself. Just ask him. Check his information, Dave. Make sure it's all right. Do you think I'm thick or something? Reg read it through and Mr Monroe said it was fine. Standing around your feet sometime, I suppose. Are you nervous about it? No. Well, a bit. Nah, nothing to it. Just hand your paperwork into the magistrate's clerk when you get there. Yeah, OK, OK. I'm only trying to help. No, I rehearsed it all with Polly. And don't forget to turn your radio off. They hate hearing that. I know. Now, are you sure you don't want to come in with you? You sound like my mum. Better legs. Good luck, then. Oi, Luke! You haven't seen Luke anywhere, have you? I think he's gone up to court. Court? Yeah, Mr Conway said something to him about using his initiative. I'm using mine. Sir? So you agreed with Mr Conway then? What's that? About Luke using his initiative. I don't follow you. The search warrant. Oh, he is going to present it in court, is he? Good. Is it ready for me to initial? What, you mean you haven't initialed it? 432 from 469. Are you receiving? Excuse me. Yes, Constable? Luke Ashton, Sun Hill. I've got search warrants to swear out. You timed that well. Give us a moment to let this lot clear and I'll get you in. Thank you. 432 from 92. Are you receiving? 469 from 340. Go ahead, Dave. Yeah, if you're trying to raise Luke, his radio's off. We dropped him at court a few minutes ago. Dave, can you get hold of him and bring him back here? The information he's got hasn't been initialed by Mr. Munro. On way. For a search warrant. Thank you. Constable. Luke Ashton, PC 432 attached to Sun Hill Police Station. Uh, no. What's the problem? An oversight, I believe, Your Worship. An oversight? Or two. Perhaps the officer should withdraw from the courtroom for a short while. Why? I think he should seek advice about the proper presentation of an application for a search warrant. This hasn't been initialed by your senior officer. Um, n no, Your Worship. I, I didn't know it had to be. Sorry. Then there's no address on the warrant. What was your name again? Luke Ashton, Your Worship. Sun Hill. You're new, aren't you? Yes, Your Worship. Probationer? Yes, Your Worship. See, the thing is, Your Worship, this warrant's really important, and we've got to get it quickly or the evidence will get dumped, and then the suspect we've got in custody, well, he'll get off lightly. And why are you standing here wasting your time and the court's time? I'm sorry, Your Worship. If you see Chief Inspector Conway when you get back to the station, tell him to expect a call from me. actually in court, sir. Apparently the usher thought he was doing him a favour. Get him back ASAP. All received, sir. I asked you, look, if Mr Munro had approved it. He did approve it. Yeah, but he hadn't initialed it. He had to initial it. Well, I know that now. And where's the address, you prat? 
Luke, if you weren't sure of the procedure, you should have said something. I showed it to Reg and he said it was all right. Reg? What else did he say? Well, nothing. He was looking up something to do with gardening. And the puppy slipped the leash, Bob. Agreed, sir, but with respect, it wasn't me who told him to go walkies. Even so. What were you doing, Polly? I was talking to a suspect, Sarge. You'll have to keep a closer eye on him. Yes, sir. But it's simply not possible every minute of the day. I mean, we have got our own jobs to do. It's going to have to be drummed into him. If he doesn't know what he's doing, he's got to ask. Well, he does ask, generally. Ah, the prodigal returns. Sorry, sir. I thought I was doing the right thing, and I really wanted to get the warrant, but because we didn't have enough time... There's even less time now. Well, Polly got called away, and because you said the information was fine... I still had to initial it. Well, yes, sir, I know that now. Ah, here he is. Just holding the inquest now, sir. I've just had Helen Forsyth on the phone. It seems you've made a right idiot of yourself. You told me to be more independent, sir. More independent, yes, Ashton. Not downright stupid. Sorry, sir. I would have thought you'd have known how to apply for a search warrant. Well, I did, more or less, but it was urgent and... And it still is urgent. You'd better get on with it. We'll discuss this later. I think he just had a rush of blood to the head. And I think he deserves a rush of boot to the backside. Look, I'm not saying he's a bad lad as such, but is he going to make the grade or what? Well, I think so, yeah. You've been very quiet, Andrew. What do you reckon? I agree with Bob. To be fair to the lad, he has had one of the more uh, interesting probationary periods. I know he's been in the wars, but this is simple procedural stuff, you know. I'm sure he's kicking himself harder than we can. So what are we going to do? Bear with him a bit longer, what? I was going to suggest that we extend the puppy walking anyway. Maybe take it up to 16 weeks. I don't suppose he'll like it much, but at least we'll all know where we stand at the end of it. Thought I'd find you skulking out here. I don't want to do it. Hold that for us, would you? This is all part of my master plan. Oh, yeah? Rather be doing something more useful, eh? Yeah, so right. Like getting a search warrant. Information Luke Ashton showed you. Yeah. Looked all right, did it? Oh, yeah, looked fine, what? Didn't happen to mention it would have to be checked and initial by Inspector Munro before you sent him out after me to give him a lift to court. Well, why should I mention it? It was obvious. Not to Luke. The kid ended up in the witness box getting a hard time off of Helen Forsyth. Well, that's not my fault. Are you sure? What are you trying to say? That I didn't mention it deliberately? That's what I'm trying to find out. But Tony, get off my back. He's been puppy walked long enough. He should know all this stuff. Don't drop the kid in it. Just as you'll feel hard done by. Do you mind? I've got a flower bed to design. Six more weeks, sir. It's not just because of the cock-up on this, Luke. I know I've been a bit dim every now and again, sir. You've had a pretty eventful couple of months, and the general feeling is that you should be given a bit more time to settle in. See if I make it, you mean? No, we think you'll make it, if you want to. I do, sir. Well, this looks fine. And that's all you had to do the first time. I know, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Don't apologise. Remember. Yes, sir. Right, Inspector Munro initials it, Magistrate's clerk signs it, Magistrate reads it, asks if your information is true and accurate. I know that bit. I know all of it, really. You're not going to get in trouble, are you? I'd better not. Search warrant to be signed. You survived, then? Eh? Just about. I can't imagine there'll be anything wrong with it this time. But you've missed all the magistrates, I'm afraid. I'll have to phone one at home for you. What exactly is this, Rich? Oh, well, sir, it's my plan for the new garden. Yeah, this is a side elevation, this is an overhead view. It's a bit rough and ready, I know, but uh, I think it will give you a sense of what I've got in my mind. <sighs> yes. I was home to avoid some of the misunderstanding that we had last time. Yes, of course, it's, um, <clears throat> it's very good. Very good. I've got some computer software at home that gives you a sort of 3D look at this, you know, like virtual reality. I could bring it in some more, so at that point, if you like. No, no, no. i will be no problem, sir. And this is a breakdown of the materials that I'm going to need. You know, the plants I'll be using. Uh, perennials and biennials. Reg. And this is a provisional budget. Thank you, Reg. Look, it's um, very impressive. Excellent, in fact. Uh, 
Oh, thank you, sir. I'll be able to prune a few pounds off of that final figure, but it won't be very much because gardens don't come cheap, especially not if you want to do them justice. <laughs> no, of course not. Look, would you mind leaving this with me? I'll have a look over it all. It's a uh, little more ambitious than I was thinking of, but thank you for all the hard work you've put in so far. Thank you, sir. Of course, if you got it right the first time, you wouldn't need to apologise for the intrusion. No, Your Worship. The oath, please. I swear by Almighty God that the evidence I shall give... Shall, ...shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Well, go on, then. Luke Ashton, Your Worship. PC 432 attached to Sunhill Police Station. Is your information true and accurate to the best of your knowledge? It is, Your Worship. Fine. Next time, Constable, don't come to court until you're ready. No, Your Worship. If you remain a policeman long enough for that to happen. Ah, Reg. Oh, sir. Have you come to a decision about the garden yet? Yes, Reg, I have. Step in here for it. You've clearly got quite a talent for gardening. Well, you know, sir. And a surprising depth of knowledge. I think that what you have in mind for the station might be rather more ambitious than what I had in mind, and rather more expensive. Ah. Uh. But on consideration, why not? Sir? I think you should go ahead with your plan. It's a good idea. Make the station stand out. You don't think it's too expensive? <laughs> well, at first sight, yes. But I think if you simply scaled down your ideas and made the overall design less elaborate, we could save a considerable amount of money. Uh, really, sir? I'm not sure. Well, I sat down and looked at your ground plans. When you've got a moment, come upstairs. I'll show you what I mean. Right. Well, Reg, looks as though Sunhill could finally depose Stafford Rowe in the annual garden competition. Good to have a new trophy in the cabinet. Thanks for all your effort and hard work. Not at all, sir. Thank you. What do you want? Your name, please. Why, well, I ain't done nothing. Pulchinery. Right, and is this your house, 56 Elverton Gardens? Well, it's the council's, but I pay the rent, so I suppose that makes it mine. Right, I'm WPC Page. This is PC Ashton, Quinnan and Stan. We've got a warrant here to search your premises. You're having a laugh. Oh, ho. Right then, where shall we start? Upstairs, main bedroom, underneath the loose floorboard? Oh, what? Yeah, Kevin was very helpful. You are joking, aren't you? Afraid not. Unbelievable! Well, that's what friends are for. You stitch me up like that. Well, I hope you're going to search his room and all. His room? You mean he lives here? Oh, didn't he tell you? Yeah, he dosses here most nights. Usually when he's had a few drinks and his girlfriend locks him out of their flat. You all right, Luke? You look a bit sick. Sick. Gutted. Well, if Bayliss lives here, we didn't even need to get that stupid search warrant. Police and Criminal Evidence Act, Section 18. The constable may enter and search any premises offices. Yeah, I know, I know. Go on then, finish the sentence. <sighs> well, any premises occupied or controlled by... Luke! Come on, let's get on with it. Bailey's dumped me right in it, didn't he? Yeah, you and me both, mate. 